Like the predictable excitement that courses through every college football season, there's a persistent imbalance that plagues this wildly popular NCAA sport year after year after year. And that is the virtual absence of African-American head coaches. While college basketball has increased its ranks to roughly one in four teams, and a recent push by the NFL has upped its membership to seven black coaches among its 32 teams, college football is decidedly underrepresented on the nation's sidelines. Despite years of attention devoted to this glaring problem, the cold hard truth is that among the nation's 119 major college programs, only four head coaches are African American. People have asked me the question, well, what's the difference between basketball, in which we don't have that problem, and football that we do? I, I wish I knew the answer. There's something about football um, that uh, creates this disparity. Is the answer a civil rights suit of some kind, say a Title VII suit? Um, perhaps. I mean, I, I would hate to see it have to go to that, but um, something's going to have to give. Uh, the current situation is, is not acceptable nor sustainable. A lawsuit may, in fact, be on the way at the urging of Floyd Keith. The executive director of the Black Coaches Administrators, Keith opened a national telephone hotline in December that offers legal advice to coaches. After years of waiting for schools to hire more minorities on their own, the legal phone line is just the BCA's latest move. The hope is that it could eventually lead to a landmark case against universities under civil rights legislation. The Black Coaches Group feels the best way to create change is to offer legal advice to talented but overlooked coaches and encourage them to file suit. And while President Brand himself is upset by the lack of progress, he says the NCAA can't tell its members how to hire. This is the one area right now that I'm most frustrated about. And the hiring is a campus-based activity. The NCAA has no role whatsoever to play in the hiring of football coaches or anyone else on the af athletic payroll of institutions. But Dr. Brand has been advocating change and offering tangible assistance. Now, what we can do and have been doing is creating professional development activities for young coaches. And, and we have done that. I think we have 23 different um, academies of various kinds to prepare coaches. Um, so we've been very active in the preparation. As a result, and because of, of the experience of a number of coaches, there are a, a long line of very successful, highly competent, coaches ready and waiting to go, but they're not getting hired. Pro football has had some success with the Rooney Rule, which requires teams to interview at least one minority candidate when filling a vacancy. Some say it's an interview process issue, and they point to the Rooney Rule for the NFL. Over one third of the final candidates in, in the um, interviews now are African Americans. The, the report card that the um, BCA sends out um, actually does a good job in creating interviews. But ultimately, Brand says it's up to the schools themselves and they simply must do better to correct this shameful situation. Dave Ferry, The Associated Press.